let's talk about tiered pricing in Timely. This feature allows you to assign different pricing tiers to your staff based on their experience and tenure. This makes it easier to manage your calendar, support career growth, and maximize your earnings in a few simple clicks. It also means you can simplify your service list and easily book staff in at the correct price. If you're a solo or if you have a flat pricing structure across all your staff members in your business, you can skip this section and head on to the next course. We will go through setting up your services. To set up tiered pricing in Timely, start by going to set up staff and clicking the add price tiers button. Next, create the pricing tiers for your business by clicking add new and giving each tier a name that represents their level of skill or seniority it applies to, such as director, senior, emerging, junior, or apprentice. Once you've created your tiers, click on the person icon to assign your staff members to the appropriate tier. Keep in mind that each staff member can only be assigned to one tier. Finally, click save to confirm the changes. Currently, tiered pricing is not available for service groups and it does not support tiered durations. However, we're exploring ways to add these features in the future, so stay tuned. Whether you offer one service or 50, in order to make appointments, you will need to add in your services. Before I begin, it's important to note that if we are importing your data from another software, you won't need to add in your services. However, it's still worth watching this course so you know how to edit your services or add new ones in the future. With Timely, you can set the price and duration of each service, build in padding and processing times between appointments or services, group services together, and control which services can be booked online by clients. Services can also be added directly to a sale without creating a booking which is perfect for walk-in customers or add-on services performed during a client's appointment. To create a new service, go to the Setup menu and select Services. Click the Add Service button in the top right-hand corner. Next, add in a unique name for the service and describe it in the description field. This description will be visible to customers online, so it's really important to sell the benefits of the service. If you've already set up your service categories, you can select one here. But it's okay if you haven't yet, you can always come back and edit the service later. To make the service available for online bookings, check the box next to customers can book the service online. Next up, you'll want to choose a price type for your service. You've got a few options here, fixed price, varied price, free, no price, and you can even choose to hide the price from your customers online. If your service has a set price, just enter it in. This value will be used for both in-person sales and online booking payments. But if your business uses tiered pricing, you can enter different prices for each tier like so. Add tax if applicable and the service duration in hours and minutes. Now, if extra time is required for cleaning or to get ready for the next appointment, then you can add padding time. This can be added to the beginning or end of a service and blocks the time out in the staff member's calendar so another client can't be booked. For example, you might want to include 15 minutes padding time at the end of a massage, allowing clients to get dressed comfortably without any hurry and so you have time to clean up the room in preparation for the next appointment. You also have the option of adding processing time to the service. Processing time can be added at the end of the service to create free space or a gap in the calendar. The client is still present in the salon, but you aren't directly working on them. Processing time is especially valuable for hairdressers who offer color services that need time to develop before moving on to the cut or dry off. By adding processing time, your stylist can use this time to attend to another client, maybe even squeeze in a haircut while waiting for the color to develop. This enables them to really maximize their time and productivity during the day. Now let's choose a color for your service. This will be the color used for bookings in the calendar. You can choose any color you like from the color wheel, but many businesses like to assign a separate color to each service category. For instance, all brow services might be pink, while all lash services are blue. This simple visual cue can help staff quickly identify the services they'll be performing that day at a glance. Moving on, let's allocate the staff members who can perform this service. In all, if all staff members can, you can click the Select All checkbox. Otherwise, you can click the checkbox next to the relevant staff member. 
Sometimes a service will require a specific resource, like a massage table, room, or piece of equipment. To make sure this resource isn't double booked, you can create and assign your resources to the relevant services. Selecting a resource is optional, and not every business will require this feature. But if you do need to create and assign resources to services, you can find more information in the resource section at the end of this course. We're almost there. Now you need to decide if you want your clients to book the service online. If you're on Innovate, you have the option to restrict the service to only be viewable online by VIP clients who are logged in. Additionally, you can nominate the service as a video call to prevent your address from being shared to the customer in their appointment reminders. For video call services, you'll also be able to add in a Google Meet or Zoom link into the appointment if necessary. Last but not least, if you have online payments enabled, you can either use your default payment setting or select a different payment policy for this particular service. For instance, for longer services, you may opt to take 100% deposit upfront, whereas for a free consultation, no deposit may be necessary. Click Save to create the service. Nicely done. Now repeat these steps for the rest of your services and we'll see you in the next course where we'll cover service groups.